Well, here we are in uh, South Korea, in uh, Chongju City, Sajikdong, and where my art studio is. Um, here, the Duli Mungu, Wangu, the, the green awning. <laughs> it's an old art supply store, and uh, uh, rent is very cheap here. So it's a little noisy, but it's okay. It doesn't bother me too much, really. So here's a view of the sort of seating area. There's two rooms in here, and uh, my beautiful sofa, my heater fans. There's no heat in here, so uh, have to make do. Uh, I often hang paintings in here, uh, one, to let them dry because they're all oil and they take uh, a good month or two to dry and I uh, also like to take a look at the paintings and decide if I'm going to change them or not, which I often do. <laughs> um, there's uh, the bar area <laughs> or my glass collections. Uh, and uh, here's my backpack and uh, uh, main area where I paint is back in the back um, there's a little step up there a lot of old Korean um, buildings have uh, this kind of step up because it's the underfloor heating in just one area where people would probably sleep uh, so originally this is a house um, upstairs there's of course somebody living upstairs and this is the painting area. So it's quite small, but uh, it's it's fine for for me. It's just me in here. So uh, step up here. So several more paintings hanging in here, again for drying and sort of taking a look at. And you have some large ones. And this is a kind of odd thing that a lot of old houses have. It's kind of a strange crawl space up there, like a small attic. And uh, I keep stuff up there. I just store some things up there. Um, and some brushes and storage and dry some small paintings in the shelf. And um, the work area here I have some glass palettes I always use glass palettes to mix my oil paints on and uh, then the back of them was I paint, painted white so you could uh, you can see the color much better and of course glass is easy to clean and uh, it's quite messy because <laughs> I painted recently so I didn't organize my paints and painting mediums these stools here, I found these four stools. I rescued them from the trash. I can't believe someone threw them away. Maybe one day I'll restore them. And there is a kind of other mini room back here. And it's, uh, okay, so we'll go back into this little odd room here. Uh, I've got an easel there. I use, uh, uh, quite often, but no, no, I'm not using it. And some kitchen area here. I usually wash my brushes and things, uh, clean my coffee cups. And where I hang my brushes, and uh, there's a, a nice labeling my friend did for me, so I don't forget <laughs> where I'm supposed to put my brushes. Uh, uh, so if you need to use the bathroom you gotta go out this door outside and uh, <laughs> run if it's raining that's the front door that goes to the street where we came in and uh, this little room is the bathroom and there you get one of these toilets the squatter so that takes some skill to <laughs> 
master that, no doubt. Try to avoid that. Uh, make sure you do your business before you come over here. We're going back into the studio space here. Oops. And basically this is uh, the space where I do my work and uh, really enjoy spending time here and uh, uh, it's been a good couple of years. So we're heading out to uh, my university campus. Uh, it's out in the country and it's area here is called Jimkum. I'm not sure if I've ever actually pronounced that correctly over the number of years I've lived here. <laughs> but uh, some Korean names are really challenging. Uh, other ones are quite easy. But uh, I love all of the mountains. Uh, it's kind of hard to see today, but uh, it's really a mountain view everywhere you look. Uh, it's pretty much panoramic. But uh, during the different times of year, uh, it can be really dramatic in the spring or fall with the colors. And uh, it's sort of like uh, the Midwest, or you know, of the states. It's kind of that sort of weather cycle and uh, season cycle here. Saturday, so there's nobody probably out here. Don't get a lot of snow, but uh, occasionally we'll get a few inches, and uh, it's not really heavy snow area. start to see these clouds get away and you can see it's really some good subject matter for painting. It's not much of a university town because it's in the country so this is the university campus and uh, So here is my actual office space, Anderson's office, um, my university, and it's a pretty big office. Korean offices are, are huge, and uh, I don't have to share it, which is <laughs> amazing. Um, and I have this huge old desk, uh, which I don't need, but <laughs> it was just here. Um, I do keep a lot of my paintings over here too. I have so many paintings of so my other studio and then my watercolors are in here and some oil paintings again. Um, uh, this is where I do my videos for uh, the watercolor tutorials and things and um, it's my camera set up and softbox light and the workspace. So it's a nice to have this big area uh, for painting. And it's very quiet here too. That's one of my watercolors and an abstract watercolor. Um, so very spacious. So can't complain about that. And uh, also, as I mentioned, there's so many mountains everywhere. And so this is the a nice view from my office. Again, it's a little hard to see in this hazy day, but uh, these pine trees, I love these pine trees. Korean pine trees have so much character. There's a lot of good reference material right there, uh, right out my window. And then uh, to the other side, you can see more mountain and some uh, trees along there. So 
uh, often look out this window for some ideas of landscape or skies. Uh, it's good. Always making observation of the sky is good reference material for your paintings. And of course you got to have the, the coffee station there too. Very important. And the calligraphy you see in the videos, I didn't do that. When a, a student of mine did that and gave it to me as a gift. And uh, she's a very accomplished uh, uh, writer. Um, they say we, they don't really refer to that as calligraphy. Usually when they talk, talk about calligraphy, they're talking about uh, the painting style. So I can't remember the name of the... Uh, the Korean word for the just the letter writing so and at the top of my uh, bookcase there there are a couple different uh, artworks and those are not all mine either the the Oreo cookie painting which I love uh, another artist did that and I traded uh, them one of my paintings for uh, their painting I often do that because uh, I love to collect other artists work so this uh, cookie painting here, this guy does a lot of little still lifes and of just common objects like a cracker box or uh, like this, the cookies. So that's I like I really like that painting. And then another artist friend of mine who does a lot of old buildings, and uh, this is a actually just a pencil sketch, but she. Uh, mounted it on a board and then framed it for and I, I traded for that uh, and then this calligraphy up here uh, a well-known guy um, he came to my uh, art studio classes and my my oil painting studio I used to teach a lot of classes over there and he was a guest artist uh, and he demonstrated calligraphy and he did this it says actually Chongju Art Club uh, in a very stylistic writing, and they're uh, difficult to see, but it says met you uh, in there. So actually right in here, uh, met you in Hangul, in Korean. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Make sure you hit subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming up soon with oil painting, acrylic, and also some basic drawing. So see you soon.